I'm about to break down and get a nanny. still working on it. Good afternoon. And just having 
confidence as a black kid in kindergarten. And so it was a good book. We enjoyed this one. And we loved it. Yeah, you loved it. So I will leave the link to this book below. Um, like I said, it's good for if you are if you have preschool or just starting school. Just kind of give a little peek inside. And so they can be confident going to school and they can go to school killing it, being the king or the queen. Say cheese, mommy. Cheese. What made me want to get more books with them showing representation was um, their aunt bought them a book called Chocolate Me. It's one of Tay Diggs' books. I think he has multiple books. I'm not sure. But... They absolutely loved it. And in that book, he talks about, you know, his unique features as a black kid. And, you know, he calls it his chocolate me hair. Talks about having, you know, coarse curly hair. Mommy? And okay. when the boys, Stefan in particular, you know, I would comb their hair. He would call it his chocolate me hair. And it made me realize how much they loved identifying themselves in a book and so you know he refers to his hair as chocolate me hair because that's what chocolate me and i don't know if you guys can see it up there let me get it so this is the book chocolate me you know he talks about his having you know his nose and stuff like that and being made fun of by some of the kids who are not black but learning to love it in the end because that's what made him unique and so they love this book they love seeing him overcome all the teasing and hopefully that's something they'll take with them when they start school because you know unfortunately kids are, are evil this is a coloring book called coloring and abc and we went through it already well, I, did, I didn't let them color it first because i wanted to show you guys <laughs> but we went through all the different words so c for confident i really love this book b for dreams so they're all letters with pretty much affirmations and y'all know how i love me some affirmations so they just go over different affirmations and beautiful pictures beautiful illustrations for them to color in their image you know whatever it is and i'll show y'all what i got for um the coloring book because it's pretty cool too so keep watching another book i got is this book now they can actually read this book because it's you know it's kind of simple but it's you know like brown bear brown bear but this one is brown boy brown boy what can you be and so we read this one together it's another one that they really like and stefan has already pretty much grasped the concept because he has said plenty of times i can be anything so yeah it's just a little boy pretty much just going through all the possibilities of everything that he can be and just showing them and letting them know that you know you can be anything and i love this book because i think they really have grasped the concept that you know they can they can be anything i've heard them say it and it's a fun little book to memorize this one is another coloring book it's called young black gifted coloring book and also another book i got from amazon and these are like the different little occupations that they can be and so it really goes in depth stefan started this one he said he insisted on him being black 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 blackity black and i said well all right if you want him to be black black all over he can be black black all over and so you know this all the, the tall dark and handsome brothers and you know then he started this one with the brown but see the occupations that it shows that you can be a chemist um a doctor and so it's a cool little coloring book i love it it's just different little occupations and you know can't forget about the, the blue collar brothers i would like for them to do an activity book but of course you know they cannot read don't put that in your mouth um they cannot read the instructions of an activity book so right now i just have coloring books for them and another book i have this one is so sweet for all the grandmothers and this just talks about a grandmother's love i love it i think i'm going to tell you <laughs> I really love this one. It's so yeah. sweet. It almost made me cry. Yeah. 
but um, it's called Full 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 of Love and it just basically talks about a grandmother's love, the joy of a grandmother's love. They love they grannies, honey. They love they grand grand, they Gigi, the Mimi. Ooh, I come second place. So this is another book just going over, you know, the ABCs, but highlighting the beautiful features of being black. And it has different little apps. Hey, stop! And it has just different little images showing beautiful pictures, beautiful illustrations of whoever did this book. Just showing all the different things that you can be fearless and different attributes of yourself. So they really enjoyed this book too. I like it. It's pretty. Hey! Okay, so for the coloring books, um, I bought these. These are multicultural crayons. So they're specifically for, you know, making sure you are able to color all the different shades of our skin tone. And I don't know if you guys can see, it has all the little representations. I bought three packs of these. I thought it was so cute and very needed, of course. So yeah, this was a, a great gesture, I guess, Crayola took into consideration. And um, it's not new. It's been around for a while. So I bought them some of these so that they can color their coloring books in the skin tone and represent, you know, whatever skin tone they want to represent with their creations. All right, so another thing I was able to find was a puzzle. And it's a little diverse puzzle. It shows all the cultures um well not all of them you know we missing some some indian people and stuff like that so they had fun really putting this together and i helped them it was a nice little project we did with our little homeschool and so we can do different stuff at the same time look that's the baby it's a cute little baby it's a cute little baby we see it's different so this I got from Amazon and it was a really nice little project. Okay, and then you can also find other resources on um Black Lives Matter Kids. So on there, they have, especially if your kids are older, they have a lot of resources for kids that are older and activities and um, different things, books and stuff like that. Um, they're really young, so it wasn't too much stuff that I could download from there. But it is perfect for middle-aged kids, and I think they have it broken down by grades. And then for us moms and us parents, with this whole pandemic that's been going on you know there's not too many places we can go but we still need a break especially since we are in the house all day constantly doing things and we're trying to work at the same time you still need babysitters and y'all i'm getting to that point with the daycares being closed i am definitely getting to the point to where it's like i'm about to break down and get a nanny <laughs> because business is booming you know with with my cookie business it's been taken off a lot it's been taken off a lot with the support of people wanting to um really engage in black businesses and so i've been very busy with that and so i've been actually looking into getting a nanny but here is the gym here is the gym so black mothers have no fear. We got help. We got help coming. The great partnership that I wanted to share with y'all is Afri Nanny. And Afri Nanny is basically, it's the blackcare.com. It is where you can go to find a nanny or child care that understands your culture. And that in itself is so comforting. So, it is launching in Dallas in the fall. Um, go make sure you check out the website. Here it is. And if you love kids and love being able to nurture and take care of kids, you can actually go and start filling out job applications. All Afro nannies have to have a full background check. So, that's the other comforting thing. And I love that the creator of this company 
she also is in the mental health field. So she did this strictly to target the mental health of our black mothers and black parents period so that we can have comfort in knowing who's caring for our children and just being able to know that it's going to be somebody that understands our culture knows how to deal with you know black kids there's a certain way there's a certain care and just being familiar like our kids being familiar with that style and that type of nurturing is important and i know what you're thinking just because they black doesn't mean that they're knowledgeable. Well, they got that covered too. They also take a cultural assessment that will help the parents gauge how the nanny will react in certain scenarios that black children face every day. So Afri nannies are tested and trusted. You can also go check out her blogs that she writes. She creates contents for black mothers to read. So some of the topics discussed on her blog. So some of the topics discussed on her blog. Melanin Mommy Moments. Black Women Neglected. Where are our allies? Why Moms Are Scared for Their Black Sons. Real Life Reasons. And Five Must Need to Know Websites for Expecting Black Moms in Tech. I love it. I've already had a chance to read a lot of this content and think what she's doing for our community especially is beautiful so please go check her out i have put the link in the description box below get you a nanny i'm about to get me one <laughs> y'all about to get a nanny you want a nanny you want a nanny yeah you about to get one <laughs> oh. oh thank you Okay, I'm gonna get you a nanny. Come on, Matai. Oh, and then um about our shirt here. So our shirt is from a black business. My shirt says Raising My Legacy. And as you can see, here's legacy one and here's legacy two. So the name of the business that I got these shirts from is Codename Mama. I've been following her for a while and I've had a chance to meet her. Um, and so we decided to work together as well. So she creates t-shirts. She has a t-shirt line. She has such cute shirts for boys and moms. And go check her out. Um, here's her Instagram. And, and you know, tell her your girl sent you. But that's it for now. Of course, y'all know there is so much that you can get um so i may be coming back to do a part two for the additional things that i have found for them but i hope y'all enjoyed the few things that i had a chance to share with you all today and i hope you like and subscribe we'll be back to our weekly probably in july i'll be doing a june vlog because y'all a lot went on in june a lot so i'm just gonna do a june vlog um, and put everything in it <laughs> And then we're going to do back to our, our weekly in July. Now, but, um. Now, come and say bye. Yeah, come here. Come say bye. It's what I'm trying to say. Bye. What'd you say? Say it again. They didn't hear you. Bye. Say, please like and subscribe. Please like and To our channel. To our channel. And we'll see please. you again. Please do it again. We'll say we'll see you in the next video. Alright. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching.